All right, all you distinguished gamers out there, what you really want to know is, are you too busy for RoboQuest or is it worth your precious time? Here's the deal. We're going to give you guys some of our thoughts on the game, some information to get started in the game, and then we're going to chase it with a little gameplay. I'm JT. And I'm Ray. We are the two jesters. RoboQuest is a very colorful, fast-paced roguelite shooter that involves lots of robots shooting each other. It can be played alone as single player, or it can be enjoyed with a friend in two player co-op. Now, there is a story involving some kind of computer AI virus that exiles a bunch of humans from a futuristic city and a girl named Max who's trying to win it all back with the help of her robotic friend. But again, lots of robots shooting each other. What else do you need to know? Now, RoboQuest is a roguelite, which means every time you start a run, you start at level one with a crappy weapon, and then you have to progress from there, unlocking better weapons, better perks, and better items. However, you can unlock certain bonuses that do carry over between runs, so there is a certain amount of progression, and you can feel like you're getting stronger the more you play the game. I actually bought the game back in 2020 when the RoboQuest Early Access first launched, so I've been playing it for quite a while. Ray, on the other hand, just purchased the game recently, so I'm actually going to let him share his thoughts about RoboQuest and just how much he likes the game. Okay, my personal thoughts on the game is as follows. It's got some great tight controls. Absolutely love it. It is buttery smooth. Put that shit on some toast. It runs on the Unreal Engine. The graphics are super bright. It's easy to see things. The graphics style is absolutely spectacular. It's really nice and easy to follow. Now here's the best part. You can just hop in, do your thing, and just start shooting shit. If you want to spend a little bit of time in this game and get to know it a little bit, it's got massive depth. It's got classes, different builds, weapons, so many weapons and legitimately like original weapons that are super, super fun. Everything from distance to medium range to right up close and in your face. It's almost got everything, this bloody thing. It's got six different classes. Now, depending on which class that you like, chances are it's got something to fit your play style. You can hop right into it, hone right into whatever class that is, finish that shit to the end and start blowing some shit up. It's just an all around good game, man. It might be an excellent game. I, might, I think it's an excellent game. I haven't stopped playing it for days. I don't know what to tell you. So let's go back to our question about whether or not RoboQuest is worth your time as a busy gamer. As you can probably tell from Ray's thoughts, we think it is. The game is a lot of fun, it's easy to dive into, and there's a lot there to explore and unlock. And it's especially fun if you have a friend to play the game with. However, there's one little caveat we'd like to point out. At the time that we record this, and for all we know this has changed in the future, there's currently no way to save your progress during a run. This means if the power goes out, you lose your run. If your spouse kicks you off the computer and shuts down your game, you lose your run. So keep that in mind, because some of the more successful runs actually can take quite a bit of time to complete, unless you're speedrunning. Otherwise, it's a great game, and you should totally check it out. And assuming you do try it, we actually have some information that'll help you get started. Number one, take some time to explore the game. RoboQuest is built for speed, and it does incentivize speedrunning through the zones and through runs. And as it turns out, some of the zones can only be reached and completed if you're speedrunning. However, there's a lot of stuff in the game to discover if you take the time to look around. There are zones to reach, doors to unlock, items to find, and NPCs to talk to. So when you're first starting out, we recommend that you just slow down during your runs, look around, check everything out, and have fun. You can worry about speedrunning later on. Number two. Number two. So number two is your enemies don't lead your targets. So once you pick, when I enter a zone, I just start shooting like fucking crazy. And then I either go to the left or I go to the right and start circling around that zone. Because what's going to happen is, is all those enemies, there's just going to be a barrage of fire behind you. So if you happen to change direction, you're going to run straight into the line of fire. The name of the game is speed. Three different items. You want to ride the rails, power slide, and make sure your auto run and sprinting is turned on at all times. Fast, fast, fast as you can go. Just keep moving, man. It's not rocket science. See what I did there? Number three. One, two, number three. Kill those rail bots. Once you kill them, they're going to drop a bunch of healing orbs. You can rush in and grab them, get in, get out. Now, don't risk your life for them. Like if you've got a sliver, it's like, this is going to save me. It's not, man. It's not going to save you. Okay. But if you have the opportunity to pop them, clear underneath them, get in there, get those orbs and get out, shoot that thing, collect the healing orbs and Bob's your uncle. 
Not very many people old enough to know what the fuck that even means. Number four, scratch damage versus real damage. Whenever you start a run, as you can imagine, you start with full health, which is shown by the green bar in the bottom left of your screen. When you get hit by enemies, you take a portion of the damage as scratch damage and a portion as what I'm going to call real damage. Real damage is shown in your health bar as the black part of the bar. Scratch damage, on the other hand, is shown as the gray part of the bar. Scratch damage can be healed a lot more easily by healing orbs than real damage. Also, there are a lot of perks in the game that depend on how much scratch damage you have at any given time, so it's worth understanding. And since we're talking about damage, let's talk about number five, understanding damage types for weapons. So to start, let's talk about elemental damage versus normal damage. Elemental damage is broken down into three different types, burn, cryo, and shock, and each of those has its own effect. Burn applies extra damage in the form of damage over time. Cryo has the ability to slow and eventually freeze targets. And finally, Shock has the ability to stun targets. In the case of Cryo and Shock, both effects have to build up over time before they fully trigger. Next, we have Normal Damage and Explosive Damage. Normal Damage and Explosive Damage actually have their own type of effect known as Impact. As you apply more impact to targets, you will eventually stagger them, which is another form of stun. Explosive damage can apply impact as an area of effect over multiple targets. Next, we have critical damage versus autocritical damage. Critical damage in RoboQuest is the extra damage you do whenever you hit the weak point of an enemy, which for most enemies are the big glowing red spots. Autocritical damage, on the other hand, is simply the extra damage that every shot you take has a chance to inflict. The percentage chance that your weapons have to inflict autocritical damage is granted and affected by many of the perks in the game, so it's worth watching out for those. Finally, we have marking damage, which is actually not a damage type itself. Rather, many perks in the games will give your weapons or abilities the chance to mark targets, which is shown as an X above their head. Marked targets will take additional damage from all sources, and I personally find this very useful, especially in co-op runs. And that brings us to our final point, number six, committing to your builds early. Like most roguelites, your build in any given run is at the mercy of the random number generator. Ah yes, RNG. This means you may not be offered the weapons and perks that you want for any particular build. For this reason, it's important in RoboQuest to commit to a build early on and stick to it. I personally choose my build early on based on the perks that I'm offered and that I look for weapons to match that. You've got to commit early so you can keep building on those decisions as the game progresses because you need some really legitimate powerful weapons uh, towards the tail end of this game, or you're just going to get hammered. Once you commit, figure out, like, if it's an energy weapon, if it's a mag weapon, and then just give her. Like, just pick those style of weapons and make them friggin' work. And those are our basic tips for you to get started in RoboQuest. So now we're going to leave you with some co-op gameplay. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you like what we're doing here, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Let's check out the gameplay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Get, yep, yep. Oh, I gotta use my sonar shot so I can mark targets. I gotta remember that. Sonar that shit up! Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I never really used sonar shot before. Oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah, the, I hit the I put, I put the mark right on the uh, rail bot, and he just melted. Ooh, now I have two Ooh, rockets. I, will... Woo, I like that marking damage. Oh, marking is so good in this game. It's just so effective. Especially for co-op. Oh, Diggy Mole. Going down, Diggy. I'm going to shoot you right in your eyeball. That's right. Oh, he has definitely got your number. <laughs> he oh, he is not happy. Woo! He is like, not happy. Ray must go down. Well, I tell you, the jetpack makes this guy almost trivial. Just stay above him. He can't do Makes squat. a big difference, that's for sure. Again, he's just taking you down, dude. Oh, no, no, he changed his mind. Except he heard there. me. He heard me talk. <laughs> He's like, nah. There we go. <laughs> Let's do this, Ray. 
Here we go. Here we go. Stepping in right behind you and got a face full of laser. Excellent. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for taking that for me. Thank you for putting <laughs> your body on the line. It's all part of my job description. Oh, I just like those little guys that shoot the little balls at you, you know? Little balls? Yeah, the little red balls that just come oh, bouncing yeah, around. Things. Are we going for the... Yeah, let's go for the weapon. Oh, there's a lot of guys in here. <laughs> Holy crap. Is there? Oh, I regret low. coming in here all of a sudden. Oh, there's the razor launcher. Oh, and it has a barrier on it. Oh, I might have to take that. It's got a what on it, sorry? Protective barrier. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good, good one. That's a good one. The old barrier down. Oh, of course, the barrier goes down at the exact wrong moment to take... Still take a laser <laughs> for your face full of laser. <laughs> oh, there's your flare gun, your okay. beloved flare gun. No. I'm already committed. Yep, you're it. You're you're going. You're you're in for the long haul. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, we got a slug. Great. <laughs> great. Awesome. Just <laughs> awesome. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Huge slug. Great. Die, sluggy, die. Oh, there's an, <laughs> there's another guy in the corner. Did not see him. Oh, you're already through. You're not playing games. No way, man. Wife gets home in a few minutes. I, 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 I am not playing around. <laughs> we're on a, we're on, we're a, on a, a timer. timer. <laughs> <laughs> the clock is ticking. <laughs> Aren't we all on a timer? Yeah. Yes. All right, here we go. That's a nice little way to enter the room with that That's barrier. That's great. It's fantastic. Didn't stop me from taking damage, though. But I guess stop me from taking more damage. Whoa! Ooh, oh. got the level. Got the level. Okay, I got the railbot that time. Oh. No way I was missing that dude again. Oh, did not mean to ride the rail into the room. <laughs> Crap. It's for all the marbles. Are we, is it Judge Ball go, or Sir Cater Coaster? What do you think? Uh, Judge Ball. Oh, Cater Coaster. Oh, I hate the Cater Coaster. Try and stay on the side until the acid comes up. It helps a lot. You can stay off the rails if you're having trouble. Where is he? Which way is he going? Oh, he's coming right for me. Of course he is. Of course Why he wouldn't is. He be? I'm just staying on the side for now. Oh! Did not notice the massive missile oh, coming I lit him me. up. Oh, it's hard to track him when he starts. Oh, nice! You stunned him. Good job with the shock there, Come buddy. On. <laughs> Good job with the shock. Oh. Nice! Nicely done. Yes, Nicely yes, done. Yes. Oh, it's the Goliath. Uh, what do you call it? I mean, they're all Goliath. Oh, I took huge damage there. Oh. Did you? Did you I eat did it? it? I did. I don't know. I just ate it somehow. Just like a full face of damage. Oh, he's down. Oh, and I really need that nice. healing. <laughs> I took a perk that as Very long as I nice. have no scratch damage, Very I nice. get a huge fire rate. Look at the fire rate on this thing. Oh, it's crazy. I have the same gun as you now. Sweet. Let's do this, Ray. Not we're unstoppable now, buddy. Yeah, right. There is going to be some fucking problems. <laughs> but, well, hopefully not for us. Oh, no. Oh, look at that marked damage, buddy. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Yep, I'm ready. I'm jumping over. Oh, he jammed me, son of a Oh, gun. and I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Wow. Got to get out of there. Oh, and I can't get over. <laughs> I 
Nice. Well, there it is. Got your wish. Oh, stunned. Oh! Woo! Okay, get your perk real quick. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, Uncle Jim. Crap. Oh, no. Jimmy boy. Yeah, Jimbo. <laughs> go get Jimbo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. Oh, I almost stunned him. Almost stunned him. He's about to be stunned. Oh, lay into him. Oh, I did not stun him for long, did it? Oh, I'm almost dead. You got it, man. You got this. Oh, man. I got no... There's nowhere to hide now. Oh, I'm dead. It's all you, man. Oh, it's no. 20% to go. Is there a rail you can stand on? Nothing. I got nothing. I'm going to have to hover here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I think... Can I stun him? Oh, you almost got him. Less than 10%. Come on, man, a sliver. Oh my gosh. You got this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Very Woo. nice. Oh my goodness. I uh, definitely tempted fate there.